What is a disease? A disease can broadly be described as a condition when one does not feel at ease or feels unwell. This happens due to an organ or organ system of the body not functioning normally, thus affecting the overall well-being. We can make out that a person is unwell by the symptoms such as headache, body ache, cough, cold or fever. Types of Diseases Diseases can be classified as communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases. Communicable diseases Communicable diseases are those that can spread from one person to another. Most of these diseases are caused by certain types of pathogens or germs. These are also called infectious or contagious diseases. Most communicable diseases are caused by bacteria, fungi, viruses and protozoa. Malaria, tuberculosis and influenza are some communicable diseases. Modes of transmission of communicable diseases Communicable diseases spread in different ways through infected food and water. When food and water are not stored or handled properly, they get easily infected by germs. Spoiled or uncovered food attracts flies and dust and thus gets contaminated. We often see flies, cockroaches, rats and other insects around unclean places. All these are carriers of germs. Diseases like diarrhea, cholera, typhoid, tuberculosis, jaundice, dysentery and food poisoning are spread by eating infected food or by drinking unclean water. When flies sit on garbage, human feces, animal excreta, etc., the germs present there stick to their legs. When these flies sit on uncovered food, the germs are transferred to the food, thus contaminating it. If we eat this infected food, we fall sick. Through the air Airborne diseases spread through air. The spittle, spit of a person suffering from tuberculosis contains the disease causing germs. These germs are released into the air whenever this person spits out, sneezes or coughs. The infected air carries the germs to healthy people, infecting them too. The most common airborne diseases affect the respiratory tract or the eyes. Viral fever, cough and cold, diphtheria, measles and mumps are some airborne communicable diseases. Through insects and animals Look at the pictures given below. Certain diseases are caused because of an animal bite or an insect sting. Insects like mosquitoes, bed bugs, lice, tsetse flies and fleas spread diseases 
like malaria, dengue, yellow fever, sleeping sickness and plague. The insects suck the blood of a person infected with the disease and become carriers of the germs. When they sting a healthy person, the germs are injected into the blood of the healthy person. Dengue fever is spread by the Aedes aegypti, while malaria is spread by the female Anaphilis mosquito. Fleas spread plague and sleeping sickness is spread through the tsetse fly. Through wounds and cuts Our skin protects our body. Germs of the tetanus disease enter a person's body through cuts or wound in the skin. Tetanus, often called log jaw, is a bacterial infection which causes painful muscle spasms and can at times result in death. Tetanus vaccine has made the disease preventable. Through direct contact, Diseases like ringworm, scabies, measles, common cold, chicken pox and tuberculosis spread by contact with an infected person through his saliva, utensils, clothing or skin. Diseases that spread through direct contact are called contagious diseases. Prevention of Communicable Diseases Communicable diseases can be prevented by adopting clean living habits and a healthy lifestyle. Here are the golden rules of health and hygiene. It is important to follow basic rules of good health and hygiene both at home and in one's immediate surroundings. All drains must be kept covered to keep rodents and insects away. Food should be fresh and wholesome and must be cooked in a clean kitchen. While drinking water must be filtered, boiled and then stored in clean containers. Toilets and bathrooms must be washed daily with a proper disinfectant. Dry and wet garbage must be collected in separate containers having proper lids. Vaccines are very effective in preventing the spread of certain diseases. Children are vaccinated at different ages from the time of birth. People who are vaccinated develop resistance against those diseases. Vaccines are available for diseases like whooping cough, tetanus, polio, plague, rabies and typhoid. In case of an epidemic, the case must immediately be reported to the government health department so as to help them take necessary action to prevent its spread. In case there is a person suffering from a communicable disease, the patient should immediately be shifted to a separate room and must be given separate articles of daily use to avoid direct contact and thereby spread of the disease. Prescribed diet and medicines must be given to the patient on time. All things used by the patient must be washed separately and must also be properly disinfected. Toilet used by the patient must be washed daily with a disinfectant.
नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस डिजीजेस दैट डू नॉट स्प्रेड फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन आर कॉल्ड नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस दे आर कॉज्ड either due to functional disorder of an organ or deficiency of certain vitamins or minerals in the body heart disorders diabetes high blood pressure paralysis etc are caused due to malfunctioning of an organ organ system or a body part people suffering from these diseases need medical attention and a change in lifestyle there are also certain non communicable diseases caused due to deficiency of certain vitamins or minerals in the daily diet they are called deficiency diseases treatment of such diseases requires timely consumption of food rich in required nutrients let's see the vitamins minerals their sources and deficiency diseases caused due to their deficiency vitamin a food sources milk butter carrots sweet potatoes green red and yellow capsicum dark green leafy vegetables etc deficiency disease and symptoms night blindness cannot see in dim light dryness in eyes dry skin vitamin b1 food sources sprouted beans pulses green leafy vegetables milk meat fish and cereals deficiency disease and symptoms beriberi rough skin joint pains cracked corners of mouth vitamin c food sources citrus fruits like lemons oranges sweet limes tomatoes etc deficiency disease and symptoms scurvy bleeding in gums and swelling in joints difficulty in healing of wounds vitamin d food sources butter ghee groundnut oil eggs meat etc deficiency disease and symptoms rickets soft bones that bend easily in children brittleness of bones in adults calcium and phosphorus food sources milk and milk products green leafy vegetables deficiency disease and symptoms defective and weak bones poor teeth and bad breath iron food sources green leafy vegetables brinjals pulses meat deficiency disease and symptoms anemia fatigue tiredness paleness on face iodine 
food sources, fish, iodized salt, deficiency disease and symptoms, goiter, swelling in the neck region.